Hello, my name is Alex Josh, and I'm an architect in the Microsoft Group here at NetApp. Today we're going to be talking about System Center Operations Manager integration using the OnCommand plugin 3.1 for Microsoft. This is a sneak peek of a future NetApp product. So specifically, the OCPM 3.1 plugin is a native SCOM management pack, and it allows us to provide core controller performance and status, along with support for Hyper-V guests. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So here we see Operations Manager uh, uh, 2012. And what we're seeing here is the diagram view. And as you can see, you can drill down into the architecture of the device and find out detailed information about it. So for example, here we have a disk, sh uh, disk shelf. And inside the disk shelf, there's fans, and power supplies, and disks. And then if you keep going up, you see the disks. And you can actually drill all the way down to the individual disks within the controller. Um, and as you can see, there's all green checks, which means there's no uh, issues here. We've actually um, artificially introduced some failures here. So if we crank open um, this component, you sure enough, this logical object called an aggregate has an error. And if we want to, we can actually go straight to the Health Explorer and find out what that error is. Um, and in this case, we've just um, filled it up so it's 95% uh, full, which is above the error threshold. So that's why you're getting an error here. Um, there's actually uh, quite a bit of uh, information that's pulled up here. All the major objects in the controller are here. Um, aggregates, uh, LUNs, um, all of the uh, various pieces and components that you need to, to manage your controller, um, and all the uh, performance data that you would expect as well. So for example, utilization around committed space or aggregate space um, is tracked here over time. Um, here we have the volumes view, right, which lists all the volumes on these controllers and their current status. Um, the, uh, you'll notice also that um, there's a couple different ways to navigate through. So remember that um, that error we saw before is also showing here. And the reason is because the, this controller is the superset of all the objects um, within it. So there is um, uh, usually a couple of different ways to, to navigate through the tree. So you might see the same error uh, creating two different red X's if you have things like that. The other interesting thing is that we're making a direct correlation between Hyper-V and the underlying storage. Um, so for example, we know uh, because we've interrogated the hosts, all of the LUNs and all of the VHDs associated um, with the Hyper-V VMs that are running in your environment. Um, the reason why this is important is because if you're having a storage event, like say you have an aggregate that's filling up, you're running out of physical disk space, um, you want to know uh, what virtual machines are being affected. So for example, if you have your gold class of service VMs, your line of business accounting system, you may want to be extra careful about the underlying disk subsystem that's sitting on. Um, now we're looking at the uh, performance section. So this is kind of a look back in time about the past couple of days, uh, things like I.O. throughput um, and latency and other issues. So this has just been a really quick uh, sneak peek of our support for Operations Manager 2012. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll definitely have a lot more um, as the product comes uh, closer to being released. So thank you very much for watching, and please keep an eye on blogs.netapp.com slash msenviro for more information.